Hey everybody, welcome back to the garden. So, I have a new plan this year. It's an evil, dastardly plan. Take a look at my wood chip beds here. Got some elderberry in here, wood chips, and what do you see? Well, besides the spots that the squirrels have dug up, piles of weeds. There's some comfrey, piles of weeds. This year, my plan is to get paid to weed my beds. How am I going to do that, you ask? <clears throat> Easy. Check this out. I started out over here with an elderberry and then a bunch of strawberries underneath of it. And strawberries do what they always do. They spread. So, my plan is to dig them up and sell them. Same over here. Neighbor has some raspberries right next to our fence. And the raspberries are doing what raspberries like to do. They are spreading. I'm just going to dig these up. I feel like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, 60. There's probably $100 worth of raspberries here. There's another one over here. By the way, these evergreen blueberries are beautiful. What variety is this? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I just like how many flowers they're making. They want deciduous a little bit over the winter because we had a cold snap of like, I think 22, but they're coming back really nicely now. Anyway, getting paid to weed. So I don't know if I can get paid to weed the, the uh, dandelions here, but definitely the raspberries Definitely the strawberries and probably the comfrey over there I can split up. Split the comfrey over here. And then I'm thinking things like, I don't know, stinging nettles, lemon balm, peppermint, spearmint. Maybe I'll try to get paid to prune. I'll sell my uh, elderberry cuttings. What else? Probably currants. Maybe a couple apple cuttings. Yeah, just. Sell everything. If, if you guys are subscribed to the Edible Acres uh, YouTube channel, you've probably heard him talk about, uh, Sean his name is, he's talked about stuff like this where you like start with perennials or you start your food forest and then just over time like stuff spreads and you know the perennials that are doing good you can just dig them up and sell them or you can keep them and get extra strawberries. But yeah. I like this plan. Let's see how it goes. I'll cut in probably another video or two of, of me doing the weeding. Maybe none of the stinging nettles because it'll be pretty hard to like hold the camera and weed, and weed them without getting whacked by a bunch of stingers. So yeah, getting paid to, I don't know. 100, 200 hours to weed this bed? That sounds pretty awesome to me. Perennials are sustainable in more than one way. They're sustainable in many ways. Look how crazy these strawberries are getting. And this, I think, is year three? I believe these are gene-bearing ones, so they, they like to make a lot of runners. All right, thanks for hanging out with me. Happy gardening.